A couple of minutes now with Mike Benzik, maybe the widest person we've ever had in the Ryan Waters show, uh, weightlifter. Hopefully, we can add Olympic weightlifters to that here in the next, uh, what is it, next couple of years. Uh, talk to me about weightlifting. How did you get into the sport? Um, I got into Olympic lifting when I was 14, and uh, I was just going to the regular gym. It was called Body Tech at the time in West Bank, and there was a guy there. He had a 90, 100-pound dumbbell, and he was just putting it over his head. And I thought, oh, I want to try that. His name was uh, Graham Jackson, and uh, basically he said, you know, why don't you try coming to the gym and try this sport called Olympic weightlifting? That's the name of the sport that I compete in. And uh, so at Glen Rosa Middle School, um, I, I met his daughter who took me to the gym, down in the gym, just a small little place, smaller than where I'm training now. And there was a coach named Jerry, and he basically just taught me how to lift a bar over my head. Mm. And for the first couple of months, the two girls that were there, weighing in like 100 and 120 to 140 pounds they were kicking my butt every day they were <laughs> lifting more than I was and I was like there's no way it's gonna happen yeah. so at by November of 2004 I went to the BC Winter Games and I competed and in my first competition I ended up snatching snatch where you pick the bar from the ground and go straight overhead 72 and a half kilos mm -hmm. and clean and jerking 87 and a half kilograms wow. so, and it inspired me to keep going now in a competition you need to do both lifts for a total score right yes you have you have three attempts in the snatch and in the clean and jerk a total of six attempts you have to make a minimum of one attempt per lift and if you don't make one of three attempts then you're disqualified so you have to so there's a lot of um, how to explain it? There's a lot of like thought that goes into what you're going to start with in a competition. So, how good did it feel to finally beat those girls? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the well, first time when you lifted it over, uh, you outweighed them. Um, you know, just it, it was going to happen anyway. Okay. Yeah. It was going to happen. <laughs> now, now, how much do you weigh right now? Uh, right now, I weigh 258 pounds. I weighed myself this morning, mm -hmm. and I'm trying to drop down to 231 pounds for the 105 kilogram weight category because currently right now I'm in the 105 plus category which is it's very tough to compete in because the guys that I lift against are about 300 pounds 330 right. pounds so now talk to me about competitions how many competitions are there uh, how many competitions how many there are? do you do I I try to do at least like this is my trial year so far so I did eight this year okay. in the last 13 months trial year as in meaning what as in uh, I took time off from the sport, I came back, and I knew I had to go to these competitions to, you know, show face and get the platform time, get my mind back in the zone, you know, get back what I need to become a good athlete. Why'd you leave? I left because it was just like, a, it was a bad time in my life, and, uh, you know, there were things happening, I wanted to go to school, and, um, you know, things happened at the gym that we had, it was called uh, Spartans Way, I think, at the time. And it just kind of pushed me away from the sport. And I biggest thing is from lifting from age 14 and 19, I needed a break, mm -hmm. right? So it was just that time in my life. And uh, I took the break. And during that break, I learned that um, I needed something, something that was going to push me to a limit. Like I really want to accomplish something in life. And I knew that I could Olympic lift. So I came back. And the Olympic, we're talking about the hopeful, the Olympic Games that you're trying to get to in 2016 in Rio. Is it realistic? Do you have a good feeling that it is a realistic opportunity for you? I have a good feeling that it is a realistic opportunity because it's all about dedication. Mm -hmm. And if I'm dedicated and I stick to what I'm doing now and definitely improve upon the training that I am doing currently, you know, realistically, anybody who really tries hard can make it. Now, when we look at the Olympics and the different team sports in the Summer Olympics, there's a basketball team, there's a volleyball team, there's a swimming team. There's not necessarily a weightlifting team, right? So how do you get to the Olympics? Well, actually, there is a weightlifting team. And but you don't necessarily go as a, as a team, right? As a basketball team, you're going no matter what. Or as a swim team, you're going no matter what. So how do you get there as a, as a weightlifter? Well, Canada has, like, you can take... Uh, a group of nine people to a uh, world weightlifting championship, like the Olympic lifting world weightlifting championship, the Commonwealth Games, um, the Pan Americans, and that group of nine people, five men and four women, I believe that's what the group is made of still, they have to do well these competitions. And if that group does well, it qualifies Canada in Olympic weightlifting more spots for men and women at the Olympics. And not only now, even if we qualify those spots to get the Olympics, in the country alone, I still have to do the best I can. I still have to lift the most weight I can and try to be the top guy, the top pick for this country to go to that Olympic competition. And just to give our viewers an idea, only two weightlifters from Canada went in 2012 and both were female, right? Yes, only two female weightlifters went in 2012. Wow. So is there pressure on you for doing well? Uh, there's always pressure, but you know what? I feed on that pressure. I need that pressure to keep going and without that pressure, it makes it not as worth it. But with the pressure, I just feel like every day I come here, I'm ready to train.
Thanks for doing this. Good luck. Uh, keep us posted on, on your progress, okay? Thank you. Thanks Remember you. his name. He may be at the Olympics in 2016, and he's from right here in the Okanagan.